Hey, everybody, it is Radley here with your angelic weather report for March 17th through the 23rd of 2024. As you can see, we're still working with Animal Guide Stro Cards, my deck that came out this month. So we're going to start with the angelic weather report, which these days is four cards pulled from, from the Animal Guide Stro Cards. And those four cards give us a sense of the energy that's going on this particular week that we're going to be working with. Now, also, besides those four cards, we are pulling four cards from Angel Wisdom Tarot cards. And the reason for that is because these card, this card deck has archangels in it. And I want to give you an archangel that you will be working with for the energy for each particular card. So let's go ahead and take a peek at the cards. Here we have the four cards from Animal Guides Tarot cards and the four cards behind us supporting the Archangel that is, in essence, supporting the energy that we are going to be experiencing. And so card number one is two of air, and it is ruled by Dotsons. And there are long-haired Dotsons and there are short-haired Dotsons. And so this card says... Procrastination and worrying, what others will think are blocking you from making a decision. If you're torn between your own desires and someone else's, follow your own inner guidance. So very often with the energy of this particular card, what we're experiencing is this sense of, I can't make up my mind because do I make myself happy? Do I make somebody else happy? So many of us in our um, little community are very much people pleasers and very interested in doing what will make other people happy instead of what is going to make ourselves happy. Now, Dotsons represent that energy because, like I said, there's long haired and there's short haired. So, which is it going to be? I mean, in either case, they're sweet dogs. They're known for being energetic and devoted, but also a tiny bit stubborn. Because of this, they can alert you that you're taking too long to make a choice that's before you or can represent a great opportunity that you could slip by uh, due to indecision or over analysis. So who's helping us with this this week? Ah, Archangel Gabriel. That makes perfect sense. Gabriel is the Archangel of creativity, of communication, and of motivation. And so with Gabriel, we have this opportunity to have this Archangel that can help motivate us to ah, make a decision, to move forward, to see what it is that we're wanting to uh, accomplish and help us to be able to be creative in our solutions and communicate them in a way in which they can be heard, understood, and accepted without any kinds of energy that we don't really want to deal with. So let's go back to the cards. And so here we have card number two. Card number two is Awakening. Now we have seen this card a lot in the month of March and even back in February. Um, the card is ruled by giraffe. And in traditional tarot, this is the hanged man. You'll notice that the giraffe has turned itself up, is looking down from its high perch at us. And so the card says, look at things in a different way and all will make sense. Don't worry if your progress is halted temporarily. Things will soon start moving again. Things will start moving again. <clears throat> So giraffes, as the tallest land animal, they are very unique creatures, and they encourage you to show the world that you are also one of a kind. Your weirdness is what makes you amazing, and so you should revel in that. Now, the most obvious characteristics of giraffes is their long necks. They can see above other animals and therefore have a long view that others don't have. This ability to see what others are missing may inspire you to provide compassion and charity to the, for those in need. Now, let's see who's helping us with that energy. Oh, it is Archangel Azrael. Azrael. So Azrael is the archangel that helps us to get better from things that we're in sorrow or helps us to release things that are not that we shouldn't be holding on to. And so um, Azrael he helps us to heal, helps us to release, helps us to move forward. And so that's a great archangel to help us with whatever awakening that we are experiencing and whatever it is that we are trying to move forward on. So what's our next card? Well, I don't know. Let's see. The next card 
card is Knight of Air. It is ruled by the Thoroughbred Horse. Now, this is Knight of Swords in traditional tarot. It is the fastest moving energy in all of tarot. It says, get ready for progress to speed up. This situation requires you to choose logic and intellect over emotion and make your decisions quickly. And so the thoroughbred horse are known for their swiftness, their stamina, their agility and willingness to go the extra mile. They can run at speeds of up to 55 miles per hour, which I love 55, right? That's five, five. So what is that? That's change, change, doubled to create a 10, which is a one, which is new energy and making our wishes come true. And uh, so they're extremely intelligent and they forge a psychic connection with the people they work with on a regular basis. Now, this is one of the reasons why they're a symbol for victory and success. Um, so who are we working with for that particular card? Well, here we have more horses. How perfect is that? We're working with Archangel Metatron. Now, Archangel Metatron comes in a swirl of violet and green. And Metatron is this archangel that helps us with several things. Focus grounding, time warping, and is known to be the archangel that looks after very sensitive people, in particular children. So if we're in a space where we have gone from what felt like a standstill to suddenly we're moving very quickly, that's an amazing kind of energy and we love that. Uh, but Metatron can help us to stay grounded and focused in that particular energy so we don't have this sense of of anxiety and panic about what's happening. So let's see what our last card is. Our last card is Night of Fire, Night of Fire, and is ruled by Gazelle. So Night of Fire talks about how you've worked hard and what you've created is impressive, impressive and worthy of protecting. Annoying challenges might come up, but don't worry, you'll get through them. You just, just as you have in the past. And so gazelles are incredibly graceful animals with the ability to escape danger by moving in a fast and unpredictable manner. They evade predators by running in a zigzag pattern rather than a straight line, thereby confusing whatever is chasing them. Gazelles therefore signal the need to be flexible and alert. They have the ability to leap straight up into the air to see over tall grasses so they can represent your ability to assess a situation and then act quickly. They can also suggest environmentalism and people who are interested in protecting the earth and all its inhabitants by helping others to see the truth. So this is really where we built something. We're proud of it. We may feel like it isn't safe or not protected and we need to protect it. And we can do that with angelic assistance from perfection. We have Archangel Raguel. Raguel comes in pale blue. And Raguel is this archangel that helps us to find the right people to help us in anything, to create cooperation among people, to create compromise amongst people, to help us to bring harmony to relationships that are in discord and is therefore somewhat associated with justice along with Archangel Michael. So it's a great archangel and fits really, really well with this message. So let's have one more look at this. So where are we again? We are in this place where <clears throat> having some difficulty making the decision, things feel like they're not moving, but then they suddenly seem like they start to move really, really quickly, creating a sense of maybe a little bit of anxiety that we need to be careful about our choices and to stand up for ourselves when that is the right thing to do. All right, so I am now going to take these cards and I'm going to move them away because the next aspect of this is your personal reading. This is us getting you a, a message about something that you personally care about. So I'm taking the whole deck, I'm taking those four cards, putting them back in the deck so that we can, just in case they can come back. And I want you to think about a question, something that you personally would like a reading on. What would you like the answer to a question if I was sitting in front of you pulling cards for you? So think about what is that question? What is that question? All right. And one more, I think. Yeah. And so, all right. So the cards are all shuffled. We're all ready to go. So what I want you to do is I want you to, now that you have that question in your head, I want you to think about, do you feel like your answer comes from card number one? Do you feel like your answer comes from card number two? Is your answer hiding behind card number three? 
or is the answer to your question card number four? So one, two, three, four. So if you're if you chose card one, so it's A to fire, it's B's, it's like talking about energy that's moving very, very fast, lots and lots and lots of things going on. Very often this can be lots of positive things and we like that. Even if it doesn't feel positive, try to remember that there are elements to what you are working on that have great productivity and will help you to get where you want to go, even if there's a little bit of anxiety because there's too much energy buzzing around you. Card number two is eight of air. This is Buntings. And so this is a card that talks about where we feel trapped, but we really, really aren't. We are not trapped. And so do not look at your situation and be and feel in this space of, oh my gosh, I can't get free. Look, the, the cage door is open. Fly. Card number three, if that was your answer, it's King of Fire. It's Katanga Lion. And it says, now your moments to step up into a leadership role. Don't back down from the spotlight as your plans will be successful as long as you stay focused on the big picture. So that whole energy of be the leader, be strong, go for what you want. And if your answer, if your card was number four, that's awesome. It's Bluebird, the Bluebird of happiness. It's the sun, it's success. It's all your plans working out and bringing you happiness, you getting the recognition you need. So we've really got two cards here side by side talking about recognition. Um, so that's super cool. Um, so that is our angelic weather report for the week. I'll keep in mind that my, the doors are open to my magical membership group. I'm very excited about it this year. This is our third year. We're going to be doing some really exciting things about recommitting to yourself, putting yourself in a space where you can work with archangels and tarot in order to be able to create the life of your dreams. You can find out more about that by going to radleyvalentine.com forward slash membership we've will there we have had tons of people sign up for it and it's going to be a great group so check it out again this is your angelic weather report for march 17th through the 23rd of 2024 see you again next week